G'day everyone. Um, just a quick little video. Uh, I've managed to pick up a full box of the Lego Movie 2 CMF minifigures today from my local news agency. So there is the lovely box, fresh and unopened. So I'm going to take that across now and open it and just see what order the figures uh, come out in. And uh, just to confirm that uh, what everyone's saying is that there are three um, full sets in here. Okay, so it's a slightly bigger box than previous series. Uh, there's the cover. Got some more pictures of the figures on the side. Back's fairly plain. And got the giraffe and the crayon. There's some really good ones in this. I'm looking forward to open it up. So let's crack it open. So let's go with the first packet. So here we go, this is the left hand side front row. Oh. oh, these packets are different. You normally just tear through those, okay, that's interesting. So, straight off the bat. We have the checklist, which has got tape on it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it is taped together. So let's have a look. So it's interesting that it's got the Lego Movie 2, but then the characters down the bottom have got a separate Wizard of Oz logo for it. So I, from what I know, I think they do appear in the movie, but maybe they're only brief cameos. Um, it's, yeah, it's interesting. But anyway, so that's the, uh, the standard instruction sheet. So, and our checklist. So it looks like we have got... Um, one of Lucy's band members, I think, from uh, from when she was in a band. <laughs> Bugs. Um, so. So we get a pink microphone and there's a spare pink microphone and a cassette tape on clear which is really cool so so there we have so that's the tape there's a printed skirt piece with little stars on it there's some white streaks in the hair and a star in the hair um, so yes, yeah, so that's the uh, one of the bandmates of Lucy. Okay, bag number two. Again, I can't open them the way I normally would, so let's see. Looks like we have another band member, or is this Lucy? No, this is Lucy. So I won't open that up. So... So we've got dual face. So there's a, a singing face and a smiley face. We've got the Lucy hairstyle in blue and purple. Again, another spare pink microphone. So there's obviously a couple of singers and a gold record for everything is awesome I hope that's not a spoiler but um, I'm assuming that uh, that Lucy had something to do with the song everything is awesome in universe so anyway we'll find out that there's Lucy so that's uh, 
printing on the torso and also on the side of the arms. Uh, there's like a bubble-like effect. Um, dual molded hair, I think, or is it printed? No, it might be dual molded. And uh, and then the uh, the printed uh, tile piece and another pink microphone. So we got another spare pink microphone. So uh, I expect that by the end of this I'll have a few of them because I think there is another band member and it looks like all of them come with microphones. So onwards to the next bag. Okay. So they are, these bags are a little easier to get into. I'm just used to doing it one particular way for all the other bags which needed a bit more muscle but these ones are pretty good. So, looks like we have Lord Business in his golfing attire. So this is very cool. So he comes with two faces. He comes with a, a sort of a, yeah, I don't know what that is, an upside down frown. And then uh, both of them are quite cheerful. One's slightly worried looking. So uh, we'll put on his hair. And he comes with a cool new golf club, which is really cool. So again, leg printing, side printing, feet printing, arms dual molded, pattern on the back. There's a, that's a really nice quality figure. They're, so far, all the figures have been really outstanding. So that's number three, so let's crack on and move on to the next one. Okay. I don't cut these because I've, in the past, I chopped through Harry Potter's um, Cloak of Invisibility in, in one of the last minifigure series. So, what do we have here? What? We have the Scarecrow by the looks. So, single sided face, he's got the black scarecrow hat, and he's got a certificate of achievement. So obviously, playing on the brains situation, so it's a bit hard to see. better. He was coming apart so he looked like he'd already been attacked by flying monkeys. So yeah so we've got front leg printing, no side printing, no side printing on the arms, um, single sided face and a printed certificate tile if I can get that to focus. So that's the certificate of achievement there. It's a bit hard to see his face, but it uh, certainly looks like the Scarecrow, uh, and there's no printing on the back. So that's the first of the Wizard of Oz sets. It looks like we've got another Wizard of Oz, so it might be that couple of the Wizard of Oz figures are one after the other. So we have the Tin Man and that's that's a nice metallic so he's got a bow tie in silver. I'm gonna try to line that up correctly. He's got the hat. Oh he looks excellent. He's got the the new version and he has the heart with the clock. So there we have the Tin Man. So you can probably see it if I move it around. There's a nice shine to the upper torso and also the leg prints. There's a bit of a shine on the end of the axe. There's the printed heart piece. He does have side printing, so he's got seams and uh, and elbows. Uh, the back, uh, 
it's got some printing it's it's hard to see but you can see some like wear and tear on it so there's silver and then there's parts that have been rubbed off on purpose and the little hat on top uh, all round that's a really nice figure I think so far I, I prefer this one to the scarecrow um, and you get a couple of spare bow ties and also a spare heart so once again a few extra pieces to add to the pile um, but that's the uh, the next figure number five in the front left row okay this one feels bulky don't know what that means ah so it does look like we're getting all the wizard of oz characters in a row this is interesting so he comes double bagged so um, so the tail piece is separate and the uh, the base but the cowardly lion comes in his own additional bag now I don't know whether he's supposed to have his tail up or his tail down it looks like it's tailed down so I'll put that on that's that so he has two different faces so he has a frowny face and he has a happy face and that's an unfortunate way to have his tail and him looking happy but anyway um, there is then the outer head which goes over with the mane and the ears and he has a see-through printed 1x2 tile with a medal on it which is obviously his courage if I can get him on the stand so there we have so there is printing on the uh, on both the front of the torso and the top of the legs and there is also claws on the bottom of his feet uh, no side printing a little bit of printing on the back and he has that uh, double-sided face and the see-through medal so that's another one. So that's three of the Wizard of Oz figures in a row. So let's see if this one will be Dorothy. Okay. And we are not in Kansas anymore because it is Dorothy. So if you're uh, looking for a tip and you're wanting to locate the Wizard of Oz figures only, then if you find one, look on either side because more than likely they will be one after the other. So, so Dorothy has the, the dress, which is front facing. I hate putting these things on. The curse of having Homer Simpson fingers. Okay. So she's got the dress. We've got... Oh, we have a jewel moulded face. So we have the happy look there. And then a worried expression with a slightly open mouth. Uh, the hairpiece is more rubbery, but it fits on really well. Um, it has the two braids there. And we have Toto. So we'll put her on. Hopefully Toto won't shoot off like the cats were in the, uh, in the last Harry Potter wave. So there we have... Dorothy and Toto. Oh, I've knocked him off. Oh, that's better. So Dorothy has obviously the printed shoes uh, on the front and sides, uh, dual molded uh, arms, uh, back printing and obviously the dress piece and then the rubber hair piece with the two braids coming down and a double face. So yes, so you can get all four Wizard of Oz figures in a row. 
So that's uh, that's an interesting thing to, if you're just after the Wizard of Oz figures. Okay, so onwards. Okay, so who do we have? Ooh. We have Rex, by the looks of it. Rex Danger Vest, I think. So he has two faces. He has a eyes closed, cocky sort of smile, and a very grim and determined, sort of furrowed brow, stern look. Um, and we'll put some hair on him. So his hair is molded in with the, the hat, but the hat also has some printing on the top, it might be hard to see, but there is printing of some pockets just around the top on that brown printing. So this is Rex and he comes with a tiny blue raptor, which is very cool. So he has uh, front torso printing, side printing down the side, printing on the hand, back printing, the jewel heads, and he has a blue mini baby raptor. So all in all, I'll move it up into the light, um, that's a nice little figure as well. So another one of Chris Pratt's mini Lego figures. So we'll put that one in the pile and move on to the next one. Okay, so it looks like we have the cat lady in her apocalyptic garb. I should turn this over, make sure. So we have two different faces. There's a stern look with the glasses on. Oh no, only one face. Okay, so she's only got one look. Um, She's got the grey hair, she does have printing on her arms and on the side torso, um, but she comes with a cat that has a punk hairstyle and has a band-aid on its cheek and it has teeth showing, a band-aid on both cheeks and teeth it out so it's again I'll put this up in the light but it's an amazing little figure um, so that's that's more of a rubbery piece the uh, the hair on top um, and I don't know how I'm gonna get her and the cat on here but there we go so yeah so that is the crazy cat lady in her end of the world Mad Max inspired garb. Well, so far no double, so it may be that um, one row contains a full set. Hopefully that's the same because it'll make it much easier if you can find a, a brand new box. Oh, here we go. Spaceships. We've got Benny. Now this is Benny with a slight difference. Um, he's got a robotic arm. So he's got his blue tank. So Benny has two faces. He has a pensive look, I would say. And a super cheerful, cheerful sort of spaceship look with the closed eyes. Um, so we'll put on his little helmet with its crack, and he comes with a toolkit. And that is pretty cool. 
Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the same as other Benny figures, other than he has the uh, the robotic or arm, uh, which has I think been used on uh, on other minifigures in earlier series. Um, and he just has the claw in there. The uh, the actual toolkit does have the classic space logo printed on it, and that's not a worn out version like on Benny. So that is pretty cool. So. That'll be a, a nice little part to, to get more than one of. So that's Benny. We'll put him over in the spaceship. And we had one spare claw. Okay. Next. Next one. Bag seems slightly taller or longer. So, ooh, we have Honest Abe. So this is Apocalyptic Abe Lincoln. So he has two faces. So he has a sort of slightly ajar mouth, worried look. And he has a gritted teeth, let's get ready for some axe-wielding action look. Uh, oh, and I love on the back... He has the two crossed axes and his top hat as his logo on the back of his jacket. And there's a, there's a little bit of um, silver print that you might just be picking up on the axes and also through his hat. It looks really nice. On the front, he has a little silver um, Lego skull and uh, set up like, a, uh, like on top of an engine. And he also has a little skull on his knee, which if I get in the right light, you can sort of see that's in that silver. So he looks pretty amazing. So we'll put his hat on. So again, his beard comes with his hat, just like last time. There is some printing on his goggles. He looks very steampunk in that regard. And then he's got an old school axe. So it's the, the wooden handle and the axe head, similar to a lot of the dwarves and and you get an extra stick. But there is Honest Abe. I'll bring him up into the light. And so he's got front leg print, side arm print, front and back print, two faces, and uh, some printing also on his goggles on his hat. So all in all, that is a really cool figure. So he is going straight to the bill room. Okay. Onwards and upwards. So far no doubles. So yes, the theory is holding that, that it is perhaps one full figure. Oh, here we go. So we have Unikitty. So, um, what colors have we got? So it's white and the light aqua blue is her front Oof. And then back is white and yellow. So it looks like we get a few spare pieces with this one. Get that flat. There doesn't appear to be any printing on the body of Unikitty. It's a tail. We've got the green. Okay, so this is this is old school, so it's not it doesn't use the new uh, downward piece with the uh, with the hole in the bottom of it. So it's more along the traditional style or the original style of Unikitty, uh, not the same as the Unikitty uh, CF uh, CMF figures. Okay, so it just means that the head is not attached as securely, but um, so really then the only difference between this and, and other Unikitties is the uh, the particular face print. I don't think we've had this sort of wide-eyed look before, a very cheerful sort of look. Um, so I'll just put her on the base plate. So there is Unikitty. Uh, there's no other sort of printing to talk of. But there is quite a few spare pieces. 
So we get two of the studs with holes in them. We get an extra unicorn horn. We get a white, a blue, a yellow, and one pink cheese slope. So all in all, quite a few spare parts in the primary colors. Okay, Ooh, we've got two. This one's making a, an interesting rattle noise, so I don't know who, or what's in here. Ah, okay. So this one I think would be fairly easy to feel for. It is the watermelon guy. Now I have no idea what role the watermelon guy has in the movie or if it's just a cameo in the background but we have a jewel print on the face so there's a looking cool with the shades on one eyebrow raised and we have a sort of a cheeky grin without the uh, without the sunglasses um, so there's jewel molding on the legs and there is a little bit of print in regards to the green there um, and then Oops, better put it the right way around. So that plugs over the top and does also come with, well, two watermelon pieces, but I'm assuming I'll just pose them with one. So there we have the watermelon guy. So that one should be quite easy to feel in the bag if you're just after the, uh, the characters that are, that are dressed up in the various themes. Um, it should be fairly easy to find the watermelon guy. Certainly the bag made a different noise, but that big uh, wedge will be easy to find. And you get one spare piece of melon. Okay. Next. So five to go, I think. After this one. So far no doubles, so yes, uh, it may be that all you've got to do is grab a full row and you will have a full set. So we have Lucy. So we've got the classic arrows. So we've got two different faces for Lucy. We've got a sort of tense, teeth gritted look, determined look I would say. Um, and then we have a sort of more smiley sort of look there. And we have ah, a hood which has the glasses built in. So I'll bring it up into the light, but yeah. So effectively the goggles then are automatically on if you have a hood on. Um, and she also comes with standard binoculars so there we have wild style aka lucy um, so she has leg printing and a little bit of printing on the front of her foot um, side printing and it's dual molded legs as well uh, she has back printing but it's covered obviously by the uh, by the arrows um, and she also has uh, the side arm printing and those goggles, and that, that actually looks really good. There's just that little bit of sort of depth to make it look like she is actually wearing a, a set of goggles. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So, next one. have a crayon and we have another plastic bag inside a plastic bag so that's interesting so again I think the crayon is going to be an easy one to be able to feel out that um, certainly doesn't leave anything to the imagination um, so we have a purple body so we have we do have two faces so we have a um, squinting smiling happy cheesy grin i guess you might call it and a little apprehensive sort of side smile uh 
and uh, yeah the purple body and there's dual molded legs so there is light purple and dark purple um, and then we have the crayon piece that goes over the top very similar to all the others and then there is a printed tile with a crayon drawn minifigure head and there is the crayon so that is pretty cool it'd be great if they did come in other colors um, but there is printing around the crayon it's very reminiscent of a Crayola crayon obviously it isn't but but yeah I think that's the look they're going for um, and that is really cool if you like purple there's a hell of a lot of purple on that figure it's pretty cool okay then onwards and upwards so tricky another double bag oh and the bag appears to be caught in the seam of the outer bag so this is going to be interesting we had to tear that one out so it was definitely it had been stuck in the inside seam um, so i'll put that to one side and here we have oh, i don't know what uh fish dude fish monster he's certainly from the the same mold as the Monster Hunters and also Scooby-Doo and he did appear obviously as one of I think the master builders in the last one so okay so he has a single sided face it's got the whip okay so he has a tattoo on the front of his chest uh, a blue tattoo across the light green skin. He does have dual molded legs and printing on the front. There is a bit of silver on that print. You can probably see it when I sort of put it back in the light. Um, and he also has what appears to be bullet cartridges or something on his suspenders. Um, he has the uh, buckle at the back, He-Man style. Uh, as I said, the dual molded leg. There's no uh, printing on the back of the head other than some scales. Um, and then his little helmet sort of goes over the top um, and the front if you take it off he's got those giant eyes um, and he comes with a whip so there we go okay three to go no doubles no doubles I think this one is going to be an easy series to be able to find it. Again, if you can find a full bag, it would be likely. Oh no, hang on, that is a double. So that is interesting. So maybe not. So this is the third last one. So this is another Lucy. So Lucy with her goggles. So that is interesting. So yes, Lucy is the next one. Okay, so two to go, and I've I've managed to jinx myself by it looked like it was going to be a full set in one, but so far we don't have the giraffe, and we don't have Emmett, and. Yeah. So let's see. So we've got Emmett. Yay. So Emmett comes with a big cheesy grin and an even bigger and cheesier grin. So typical. Emmett taking everything in regards to the end of the world in his stride um, and he also comes with his iPhone by the looks of it or an iPhone type device which has awesome on it and it looks like he's playing everything is awesome so there is Emmett the rest of him appears to be the same uh, as previous but there is a little bit more wear and tear on his uh his silver reflective surfaces 
so that's on the back as well but all in all a cool figure Okay, so this is the last one in the first row. Oh. oh, please. Emmett also has a coffee cup which shot out the side. So. So it's just a plain coffee cup for him. So this is obviously when he's gone to get his coffee and just before he meets the sewer babies, as we've seen in the trailer. Okay, so this is the last one on the left-hand side column. And what do we have? Okay. So, we have another one of the teammates. Now that is a bright colour. Again, double bag. So the only one we didn't Oh no, there's two. How does that work? Hang on. I'll have to do some maths in a second. So we've got... Put her tail down. And that is a bright colour. That is like almost fluorescent. So, we have... A singing face with whiskers and a smiling face with open eyes and whiskers um, and then we've got the hair piece that is very vibrant and bright we have another microphone because obviously everyone in this band sings and we have the guitar with the tiger stripe sort of on it um, so yeah so there's dual molded legs with printing there is a little bit of pink in the middle of the leg, so the yellow is actually printed on, um, and it's on the side as well. Um, and there is uh, a jewel-molded arm with printing on the side, printing on the back, um, and the double face, and the printed guitar. So that's one of Lucy's bandmates. I'm not sure what happened. There was only 19 in the left row, but I think it may have been that when I purchased it, that one was used to do a scan and it was then put back in the wrong column. So this is the one from the front on the right hand side which has 21. So I'll open that and see, um, but I'll also check the next row along anyway and just see if you do get a full set. But I, I don't think we can because there's two characters that aren't here, so maybe, so, so no, this is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it in there, that is the bandmate for Lucy, the very first one that I opened on the other side, so that's very interesting. Okay, so somewhere in there is a giraffe, hopefully. Um, so I might continue to open. So this is now the middle row, um, starting at the front. So I'm not sure if this is going to be... So this is the same girl with the tutu. So it must be that that is obviously the first each row.
this one should be Lucy, but it's not. It's the giraffe. So, okay, so maybe the second Lucy was put in the wrong spot. So this is a new one. So, the giraffe, it has body printing, side printing, dual molded legs, uh, it has two faces, so there's a smirky face with a raised eyebrow, and just a, a sort of a smiley grin. Um, and then we have the headpiece that goes on the top, and one of the new leafy type pieces. Uh, and you get a spare of the leaf. So there is the giraffe. So yeah, that's um, by comparison to another figure, it adds quite a bit of height onto the figure. So yes. So for some reason, the giraffe wasn't in the first row. So I'm hoping there is a second giraffe somewhere in the second row and it's just got mixed up. And then this one should be the other band member, I'm hoping, because that wasn't in the first row either. And it looks like we do have... So... Okay, double bag. So we've got two faces, so we've got a big smiley face um, and a more subtle smile. Uh, she also has freckles. Uh, there is printing on the front of the torso um, and also on the feet. So she's wearing some sort of thong, uh, as in thongs, like the Australian version, not the undies. Um, and she's got the green hair which I think is the diner hair, but with a, a purple streak in the front. Once again, another pink microphone and a purple record. Well, a purple label on the record. So that is the final member of the band and the spare microphone. Okay, so we're on the far right row. And this was the front one from there, which was the pink tutu girl, so that appears to be in order. Um, so let's quickly just race through and see that these are all in the correct order. And then this should be the other band member with the cool skirt. Yes, so that is her with the cool skirt. And this one, I don't know what I'm missing, but that's the hula skirt tool as well. So that is that. Okay, so this is the left row from start to finish. 
Uh, they, the three rows all appear to be in the same order, but there is a bit of a discrepancy in my first row. There are only 19 figures, and ultimately I got two Lucy's. This first Lucy here should have been a giraffe, according to the other two rows. So I don't know if this was just a fault with this particular box, but at the end of the day, I only got two giraffes, but four Lucy's. So I didn't get three complete sets. But it certainly looks like it may be just a production error. So this is the lineup for row two and row three. Um, you'll see that it's identical. All the Wizard of Oz characters are grouped together. And there's the giraffe instead of Lucy. Um, Lucy's in her correct position. And both the middle and far right column were exactly the same. The only difference is the far right column had an additional hula girl at the end, which was missing from the first row. So that had somehow slipped across from the first row to the third row, and there were 21 in the third row. So as you know, uh, when I opened my full unopened box of LEGO CMFs um, from the LEGO Movie 2, I didn't, uh, didn't get a full, full three sets. Uh, I actually got four Lucy's and two giraffes. So it was just a, an error. Um, a friend, Ozzy Brick, Brickchick, uh, opened hers online and uh, had pretty much the same order but got all the figures so I've been down for a ride this morning and first thing went to my local toy shop news agency to get some figures so let's see how I went using the pull list to see if I could get the correct one okay so lucky my local toy store gets two sets in one for me and one to sell to everyone else in Longreach um, so I'm hoping that in these I have got at least a giraffe um, and maybe a, another Benny and some more Wizard of Oz ones because that, that Tin Man is amazing. So we've got a Benny. Uh, we've got Here's our giraffe. So, so far the, the placement seems to match up. I'm not sure if anyone had actually been in and removed one. That's the always the risk with the second box is that it could have been doctored, but we'll see if I got all the ones that I wanted. Uh, well, there's Lord Business, so that was definitely one that I was aiming for. Okay. So we got the Scarecrow, so that's one of the ones that I was aiming for. my tin man so yep that did this is definitely seven from the back seventh figure in from the the back in each row so there's your giraffe the cowardly lion and one is Dorothy this one is bagged and it is the cowardly lion so last one should be Dorothy so I didn't feel any of these bags, I basically just went based on placement from my box. Um, and obviously the two boxes are in the same shipment, and look at that, I didn't get what I wanted. That would be always the way. So it may be, as I, I was sort of told, that a couple of people had bought some figures out of the box, so it may have just put the, the figure out by one. And I think, if I remember correctly, this, this figure was up towards the front, so it may be that the first couple have just been sorted out or mixed up. But that's okay. So overall, from the uh, sets that I just handpicked based on placement, I got every figure that I was after except I got her instead of um, Dorothy. So I think someone may have taken a packet out and that caused my count from the front to be out of order. But, um, but otherwise, I'm pretty happy with that. The main one is that I did get the giraffe. So I now have that that was missing from my original box. So I now have full three sets because I have promised a friend to shoot down the, uh, the, the balance set. I'll use one set uh, in a minifigure display. The other set I'll put in my Lego Movie 2 display with all the other sets just to, to beef up the area. And then the, uh, the third set I'll uh, send down to a friend. So, um, so anyway, that is the Lego minifigure series. And as I said, I think ultimately 
it's probably the Tin Man that is my personal favourite figure from the series. I think just the, the printing, the accessories, just everything about it, it's just really top-notch.